Hi everyone and a warm welcome back to the channel. Yeah, welcome back. Here we are again. Now, if you were watching last week's video, uh, you'll know uh, that we're very local, aren't we, at the moment? Yes, we are. We've got a, a bit of work taking place at the house, which we need to be local for. Essentially, we're, we've dug our driveway up again. <laughs> we, only, we only had it laid uh, two years ago, not quite two years ago. And um, it was cracking all over the place, really unhappy with it. So I've got another contractor in, digging it up, doing it all over again, except with a difference. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, the difference is Dave's now labourer for this contractor. And uh, you, can, you can show you the blister on your hand. I've got well, a tiny blister where he's I've been never, raking. He's never had a blister before because <laughs> um, I called them office boy hands because he worked in yeah. an office and no, with a disco he pushes buttons so he doesn't do yeah. hardcore work. This is the first time. And I've took some pictures because I quite like to see it. You haven't, have you? I have. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I thought it might help me with a bit of weight loss if I was to get my hands dirty and do a bit of, and also save some cash. So I'm the labourer down there anyway, not that you're interested in any of that stuff. But that's the reason why we stayed local. And on this uh, occasion, we are at the Great Yarmouth Caravan and Motorhome Club site, which we have uh, we know very well. We, we lived here for practically six months, didn't we? Well, we've done the bungalow up originally, yeah. So as we're right in the middle of the race course here, and uh, this week... It's the biggest festival of the year, which is the Eastern Festival. Um, there's a lot of good quality horses come. Um, and I love it, basically. So You like a little flutter, don't you, Helen? It's not so much the flutter. It's, it's the horses. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, <laughs> they're, usually we get class four, five, six. And these are maybe one, two and three. Yeah. So anyway, how did you get on day one with your betting? The breeding is fantastic. How did you get on yesterday with your betting? I didn't. Um, it wasn't very good, yes. But it could pick up today. I'm down there uh, labouring, uh, busting my backside to try and save a few pounds while Helen's here at the caravan losing my shirt on the races. No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, I only bet. Yeah, it's about seeing the horses and things for me. Yeah. So a little bit about the Great Yarmouth and Caravan Motorhome Club site. I'm going to put a map up and we're going to give you a little walk around here. They're all grass pitches on here, aren't they? There's no, no full service, no hard standing. Uh, the facilities here, though, in terms of uh, toilets and showers, etc., uh, although they're a little bit old, they are extremely clean and the uh, water's nice and hot. They're standard for uh, Caravan Motorhome Club. Yeah. They are, yeah. Uh, very close to, to the beach, which is kind of that way for us. And uh, if you go in the car, you'll be there in two minutes. If you were to walk, it's probably about 10 minutes. Bus stop just outside the gate, isn't it? So this is where we're pitched. And uh, Helen's got a lovely grandstand view of the grandstands <laughs> at the race course here at Great Yarmouth. But this is where we are pitched. Now, we did have the awning out earlier in the week, or the sun canopy, should I say. But the, uh, the winds got right up. It got very, very windy. So uh, that had to be put away for safety's sake. And it's a busy site at the moment because of the race meeting. Well, we certainly haven't seen much sunshine over the last few days. It's been rather wet and windy here at Great Yarmouth. But uh, that's pretty par for the course when there's a race meeting on here. <laughs> I've not been to many race meetings where the sun shone and it's been a lovely hot sunny day. Uh, but we are into sort of mid-September, aren't we? But we're geared up here at the race course for a three-day race meeting called the Eastern Festival. One of the most popular meetings here at Great Yarmouth. And uh, as a result of that, the Caravan and Motorhome Club site is full. And I've not seen it full too many times this year as I've drove past, because we really are on our doorstep here. Um, but it is really full. Not sure you'll make it out in the background there, but there's, the horses are in the stables. There's a load of horse boxes arriving today for day two of the racing. Anyway, let's have a little walk around the campsite, because I know that's the bit that you're particularly interested in. So this is the main entrance in, and uh, you have to actually cross the race course to get into Great Yarmouth Caravan and Motorhome Club. And uh, these first lot of pitches here with the luminous green posts uh, are where you would pitch your tent if you were camping. And then uh, this is the far side and uh, main reception just ahead. So when you arrive, reception's on the left here. Little information hut here as well. As usual, little map of the area, all the what's on guides, the 2023 fixtures for the uh, race meetings. 
So it's a barrier entrance in. And it is liter literally a loop here. All grass pitches, as I say, 16 amp electric hookup. Tell you what I have noticed though, there's a lot of motorhomes on here. And it's full for the racing. Toilet block on your left hand side, together with the laundrette, and the wash up area. Also a lay-by pull in here for the motorhome service point. Ladies toilets and showers down this end. And then the laundry room in here. So we've got a couple of washers, a couple of dryers. And um, tokens only from reception. And these sinks are also for clothes washing only. Here's your dishwashing area. Nice and warm in here actually. And also very clean. We'll say one thing about this site. The facilities here are very good. And also extremely clean. The shower blocks and the gents toilets. Really clean and tidy. What we've also got here at Great Yarmouth. At the far end is the Great Yarmouth and Caister Golf Club. So if you are a golfer and you want to bring your clubs with you on holiday. In fact, I think you can hire clubs from here. You can certainly go and pay a green fee and uh, enjoy one of uh, the country's oldest Lynx golf courses. I've played it a few times in, well, years ago. It can be quite challenging, but it's also really interesting. So I'll quickly whiz around here and show you around this bit. Come on. more uh, refuge, Elson Point, grey waste dump and your dustbins over here. And as you can see on this far side is the other side of the race course itself so it's a big loop that goes all the way around. Uh, literally outside of the main gates of the site is a bus stop and, and the bus route takes you up and down Great Yama Seafront, so that's really useful. This is one of the turns on the course. That's called Jellico Road over there. And then just over here you've got the, the barrier out of the site, well there's also another water point, Elson point, and uh, grey waste etc. So there's three areas where you can collect your water and dump your waste. One at one end, one in the centre, and one at the other end, so it's pretty good. There's a, a very small children's play area just here. But it's got a soft floor on it, which is pretty good, I suppose. And then the golf course I was referring to, just over here. And right next door, actually, you've got the Haven Holiday Park at Seashore in Great Yum. One of the largest holiday parks in Great Britain. One thing to note here is the ground, very sandy, got the caravan stuck here two or three times trying to get it on the pitch and had a, a real problem getting on the pitch itself and then um, a disagreement actually with the wardens about these posts because the right hand post was set further that way when we arrived. Um, I hadn't touched it, I pitched between the posts, I thought it had been made possibly wider because of all the sand and maybe people having a problem getting stuck. But um, I'll talk about our um, interaction with the wardens and our views most recently on the Caravan and Motorhome Club in a future video. But needless to say, we weren't very happy with the way we were spoken to. But we'll save that for another video. We did have a little run, didn't we, down the seafront at night time, because uh, we like to see all the lights, despite the fact we live here 365 days of the year, when we're not in the caravan, that is. Um, 
it's at close season now, so it's much quieter. But have a little look at this whilst we take you a little run down Great Yarmouth Seafront at night. So they did say that in Norfolk you may see the Northern Lights uh, last night. You did the night before in our hometown, but we were here. We were here, but uh, some friends of ours managed to capture some pictures. So I'll just put some pictures on for you now mm. to have a look at this from Case to Beach, which was fantastic. I think they were pretty visible all over the country, to be fair. So what a great time for a photographer to be out capturing it. But not me. I was sleeping off all the hard work that I've been doing. Oh, <laughs> you'll get over it. I will. Um, the the arrival here was rather interesting. I, I did get some dash cam footage, but I'm not going to put it on um, because when we arrived, I noticed that the caravan in front, um, uh, well, it wasn't in one piece, frankly, was it? I did say to Helen, just, just capture a little picture of that because I'm not sure that the fella in front is aware that the back end of his caravan's hanging off. Oh. And then when you went to check in, you actually spoke to the lady who owned that they caravan. No, no. They had no they idea. They had taken it down <clears> the seafront because they were early and you can't get into one, as you know. And um, sounds like they may have hit a, a bench seat, which was on the side of the road. I don't know how you hit a bench seat on the side of the road, but they did say they heard a bang, they but they didn't feel any anything. Yeah. But well, I suppose the, the, the sad bit about that was that wherever they travel from, two or three hours, who knows, for their holiday here in Great Yarmouth, um, had they been able to get on the site 
you know, they that probably wouldn't have happened. It's not the Caravan and Motorhome Club's fault. I mean, they wanted to kill a bit of time, went down the seafront, come back, back end of the caravan. I don't think I'd take it down the seafront, would you? No, because it's Makes actually busy. it's busy, and actually the road is quite narrow, and there's lots of little mini roundabouts that they've put in now, and what have you. So if you're coming to Yarmouth and need to kill some time before you can get on here, don't drive your caravan down the seafront would be my recommendation. We felt very sorry for them. Uh, just goes to show, though, when you look, because you can't see the side of the caravan here, because the side was very damaged, and you could see actually through the side of the van into all the insulation mm -hmm. area, and just makes you realise there's really not a lot to these vans. Well, you know, they had flipped up, hadn't it? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Right, what you got there, Helen? Right, we've got a little giveaway for you. Ooh! It's a little bag. Uh, we can take shopping. It's not any old bag, though, is it? It's a Helen and Dave caravantastic bag. Mm. So you're going to give that away, are you? Yes. That's very kind of you. Okay, so in order to win this um, exclusive collector's item, <laughs> uh, then all you have to do in the comment below is just tell us the name. This is all we want to know. We don't want any elaboration. The name of the campsite that we stay at when we go to watch all those lovely American aeroplanes. Um, I'll give you a clue. It's in Suffolk. And if you're a regular here, you'll know we go about four times a year. Yeah. Um, so what's the name of the campsite that we go to to watch the aeroplanes in Suffolk, all the American planes? Put it in a comment below, just the name. And then what we'll do, we'll, um, we'll probably end up writing everyone's name, putting it in a hat and then pulling it out. Just pick one because out. Yeah. Um, Helen's and I are not that good when it comes to all the technical bits. You can get, you can get names no, on screen. I can't we'll do all do. that. We'll keep it simple. We'll keep it simple. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and then we'll let you know and get your name and address and post it to you. I can't believe how many subscribers we've met in the last two trips that we've been on. In fact, the first one, uh, Glyn. I'm going to say hello to Glyn. In fact, I've got a little picture of Glyn here. I was watching the caravan on the drive, like, like I do on a regular basis. Car pulled up, beep, 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 beep. No specs on, so I can't see the bottom of the drive very clear. So I thought it must be someone I know. So I just waved and said, oh, yeah, you're all right. Uh, and he said, you don't know me. I thought, <laughs> how embarrassing. Uh, went down the drive and uh, met a guy called Glenn. And Glenn, if you're watching, thanks for your support. Who else did we bump into? On this site, it was... John and Tina. John and Tina. Now, we've actually bumped into them twice. We were driving up the A1 to York earlier this year when a car pulled up alongside, and we're doing about 55 miles an hour, peeped, and they gave us a wave. And it was John and Tina. Lo and behold, they were here on the holes, weren't they, at this site? They were very, very generous. Yeah, I can't believe it. In exchange for one of our stickers, and I know they are collectible, what have we got eight bottles of Ghost Ship and a box of fudge from John and Tina. Yes, thank you very Which is much. extremely, extremely kind of you. Thanks very much. You know they were both, well, the fudge is already gone. That was gone the same within the hour. Bella ate some, actually. Yeah, I don't she shouldn't be having fudge. Been. It's bad for her teeth. And also, um, yeah, I enjoyed a couple of ghost ships because I've been working hard and they've gone down well. Thank oh, you very I'm much indeed. i never going to hear the end of this. Did I tell you I've been working hard? No. Thank you, John and Tina, for those ghost ships. And then lo and behold, as I was working hard on the drive, I think I was just sweeping up after the grabber had moved the 15 tonnes of concrete that I put on the drive, at oh. the bottom of the drive. Yourself? My, all on my own with a wheelbarrow. Uh, this Kia Sport Arch pulled up, didn't it? And, and A red one. Yeah. yeah. Now, Neil... And his wife, can you remember Neil's wife's name? I can't remember her name. They had a lovely little dog, didn't they? A Lazar. Ah, oh, little Lazar Absolute. Yeah. They're standing on the site just down the road. Yes, yeah, great. Yeah. So we've got a little sticker for them as well. But we had a little chat with them for about 15, 20 minutes, which was really nice. We watched the channel as well. So lovely to meet all of you and say hi. And um, you know, we, we never met, but it's like we know you. And it's like you know us, which is really lovely, isn't it? So thanks to those guys. Really nice. Uh, after the drive's done, we've actually got a few different sites to, to visit, haven't we? We have, yeah. Some in Suffolk, some in Norfolk. Yeah, we, the, the travels continue. See, we can't get the caravan back on the drive for a, a good sort of couple of weeks. Yeah. We need to make sure it's all, all the concrete's dried and settled, etc. So we're just going to stay on our, on our travels, really, That's aren't we? That's a good excuse just to go and venture, isn't it? Any excuse to get out in the van. Yeah. Yeah. Can I say, Helen, you're looking a bit windswept this morning. Well, we've been out in the wind. 50 mile an hour wind. Is, well, it's so it's windy. Well, it's up to 42 here yesterday, and it's got to be a similar day today, I think. Yeah, we're, and we have got an extra video coming out on Sunday. Look out for that at half past four. It's just a little short one, but one I think you might be interested in. As I always say, if you have been, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. 
The notification bell lets you know when all the videos are coming out. And please leave a comment because we love them and we answer every single comment that we get. And leave a comment about that bag if you want to win the bag. Yeah. Don't forget, what's the name of the campsite we stay at in Suffolk to watch all the aeroplanes from. That's it for now. Yeah. See you in the next one. Take bye -bye. care. Bye-bye.